So welcome back and hello if you are new and thank you so much for tuning in. I know I've kind of been away from things for the last couple of weeks but I feel like now that I've taken a bit of a break, I had a holiday, we're also currently looking for a flat, you know, things have kind of calmed down. So with that in mind, I'm coming back to my reviews and the first one to be reviewed is uh, a, a really fantastic record. When I was first initiated into the world of neurosis, it was very much kind of one of pain and anguish and aggression. However, the more I listened to the band, the more I saw their much more surprising side where there was this vulnerable sense of melancholy and melody. And now, this is the first time I'm able to listen to his solo record, but Steve Von Till has released his brand new album, No Wilderness Deep Enough. Lead us through the flame. Remember. Throughout No Wilderness Deep Enough, it's very much a kind of gruff and weather worn exterior that shields this very vulnerable sort of sentiment behind all of the music. I think there's a huge sense of Americana in the way that Steve Von Till's vocals kind of come through, but it's great because this is juxtaposed with the kind of light, subtle sounds of the cellos, but also the piano, which make up the dream of trees. it sounds like a combination of Nick Cave meets Tom Waits via Bruce Springsteen and Porcupine Tree. Now I know those are, oh and Radiohead, those are completely different sort of artists but in some way they all kind of work codependently on each other and that's what I think is one of the real geniuses about No Wilderness Deep Enough. The album works with layers to create this very subtle but ever-changing soundscape it's sort of like if you were to look at the clouds or the sky, there's not a huge difference that you can kind of notice, but there's always a sense of something kind of moving, something changing and adapting. The old straight track is very cathartic, very slow burning, and has this sense of almost tangerine dream about it, which I really enjoyed, but only a hint of electronics. that there is a sense of slight unnerving as seen on indifferent eyes where it does start with this quite sort of ominous tone but then the second that Steve Von Till's vocals come in it almost acts as like this wave and just washes over this sense of reassurance. I think it's also testament to the power of even the smallest amount of melody used in the right kind of context really actually has. This could very well be a soundtrack for something like The Revenant, where the musical vistas really do speak for themselves. Yet as much as there is this sort of sense of tranquil beauty, there is something really reverential and quite dark and philosophical about it all. So if you enjoyed this video, please do give me a like and a subscribe. Anything you can do really does help. And also leave a comment because I always love to hear what you guys thought. Was this a new album that you've been introduced to? Do you know Neurosis? Is this completely alien? It'd be great to know. So thank you ever so much and take care of each other and I'll see you very, very soon.